Wait, little kitty. Don't drink that water. Why? Because that water is polluted. Oh, hello, my friends. In today's episode, let us learn about one of our prized resources and an essential thing necessary for the existence of living beings. And that is none other than water. Zoom in. So, what is water pollution? Water pollution occurs when harmful and toxic waste, chemicals or other particles enter water bodies such as rivers, ponds, seas, oceans and so on gets dissolved in them, lies suspended in the water or gets deposited on the bed, resulting in the degradation of the quality of water. Not only does this harm our aquatic ecosystems, but the pollutants also reach the groundwater, which might end up in our houses as contaminated water we use in our daily activities, including drinking. But the most crucial question is, what causes water pollution? Well, sometimes water pollution can occur due to natural activities such as volcano eruptions, animal waste, algae blooms, and residue from storms and floods. Not only that, everyday sewage and sometimes even garbage from cities are dumped into oceans, resulting in polluting the water tremendously. Other factors that can lead to water pollution are pollution from oil spills, fossil fuel combustion, and chemical fertilizers and pesticides used by farmers. And once someone consumes this polluted water, it can lead to diseases such as hepatitis that can be fatal. Also, in many poor nations, there is always an outbreak of cholera and other infections due to contaminated water. Another major problem caused by water pollution is that it kills organisms that depend on water bodies. Dead fish, crabs, birds and dolphins and many other animals often wind up on beaches killed by pollutants in their habitat. And all these factors eventually damage the ecosystem, threatening life on Earth. So now we know the root cause of water pollution and the fact that it can make humans and animals so sick that it can even be fatal. The next life-saving question is, what can we do to help our ecosystem and prevent water pollution? The first and foremost thing we can do is start by saving water. Yes, friends, fresh and clean water is more precious than anything else today. Let us do our every bit to make sure that we aren't wasting it recklessly. Start by taking shorter showers. Make sure to turn off the running tap when not in use and check for any leakage occasionally. And most importantly, make sure to always pick up your trash, especially when at the beach, lake or river. And spread awareness about it by discussing its effects with friends and family by sharing this video as much as you can. Trivia time! Did you know only around 1% of the Earth's water is fresh water? Yes, the rest is salty and we can't drink it. Also, you won't believe it, but between 5 and 10 million people die each year from water pollution related illnesses. Remember my friends, as they say, if there is magic on this earth, it is contained in water. Water is the driving force of all nature. It is one basic element needed to sustain life on earth. We can survive up to several weeks without food. But 
only a few days without water. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, uh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!